Hello and welcome back to another episode of Johnny's Challenge. In this live stream, I am playing yet another, uh, another, another Sega Mega Drive game, Streets of Rage. So sit back, relax, but as always, and more importantly, enjoy the live stream. So in case you don't know, Johnny's Childhood Games is a series of live streams and videos where I play some classic retro old school video games and more importantly the video games I grew up with hence Johnny's Childhood Games and in this live stream I'm playing Streets of Rage but before I do that I'm going to get my live stream up and running on my phone so I can get a couple of things checked see if my audio is working correctly so I can get a and it is indeed working correctly so I can get the live stream officially started there has my shelf of Sega Mega Drive games uh, once again I am playing the Sega Mega Drive Mega Collection I forget the exact name, but it's a collection of 50 plus Sega Mega Drive games. And hello to my first and lovely viewer. Welcome back to another episode of Johnny's Childhood Games. In this live stream, I am playing Streets of Rage. So I hope you're doing well, and I hope you enjoy the live stream. This is a timeless classic, Streets of Rage. And I'm telling you, this music never gets old. This city was once a happy, peaceful place, until one day a powerful secret criminal organization took over. This vicious syndicate soon had control of the government and even the police force. The city has become a center of violence and crime, where no one is safe. Amid this turmoil, a group of determined young police officers have sworn to clean up the city, among them are Adam Hunter, Axel Stone, and Blaise Feely. They are willing to risk anything, even their lives, on the streets of rage. So uh, I actually always loved this game. Uh, never tired of playing Streets of Rage. I like the story. I like the music. Music is actually probably one of the best things about the game. I like uh, each character's unique like abilities, even their personality, like their backgrounds and everything. My favourite would have to be uh, Axel. Of course the gameplay is uh, fun as well. Choose Adam, Axel, or Blaze. I will be choosing Axel. Ah, there's that 90s techno music. Oh my god. I think the music is what makes the streets of rage, to be honest with you. First duplex of the live stream, many more to come. There is another. So you may have heard of or even played the uh, recently, well, it was released last year, but nonetheless, you may have heard of Street of Rage 4. Well, this is where it all began. This is where the Street of Rage series began. On Sega Mega Drive, the original Street of Rage 1. This is where fighters like uh, Axel Stone fought on the Street of Rage. Bring peace back to the city. Fighting the uh, evil Mr. X. Over the years, 
and to be honest with you, it did take me a lot of years to, to master, perfect uh, the combat in this game. That's not to say I, I, I am a pro at this game, because I am not a pro at this game, but I, I picked up little tips and skills, like for instance this apple here will replenish some of my health, but it's not wise to like use it straight away, like because otherwise you'd be wasting it. So along the way, as you clean up the street of rage from the vermin, you uh, pick up a lot of melee weapons. Some are very different to others, like for instance this broken glass. Is, well, it starts off as a regular glass bottle, and when you smash it off one of your opponents, it breaks, and after a while, you can actually throw that bottle, which uh, maybe I will be able to demonstrate very soon. Oh no, I'm getting that mixed up. You don't actually But nonetheless, like, that's off as a regular that bottle. Uh, and as soon as you smash it off an opponent, as I said, it becomes a broken left. But now, now we're gonna... Now we're gonna step up with this uh, iron pipe. Oh, Jesus I hit something there. Okay, I'm just gonna take care of these bastards before I pick up that, because... If you drop your weapon, I think, three times, you won't be able to pick it back up. No. So if I drop this again, I think, I won't be able to pick it up. Don't you dare punch me. See this apple? Like if I hit that apple no, it will be too soon because I'm probably going to deal more damage. So I'll take more damage. I know you'll be tempted to take the apple, no, but trust me. What? Um... That was the first time that ever happened. I'm not joking. The settings must be different on this mega collection. Because let's look at the time, it's only giving me like 40 seconds. If this is not right, there's something that was a glitch. Now this is Turkey, this will replenish full health. Look at it, something like a toilet, that's not right. There's something wrong with this. I didn't change the settings or not, so I don't know what's going on. Like, why is it only giving me 30? I'm not going to be able to defeat him in 31 seconds. Like, I'm good, and I'm that good. I'm going to show off my special ability. Call him for backup. And I, I love the uh, boss music, it's just amazing. I love it. Really one of the best pieces of video game music that I've ever had the privilege of listening to over the years. So anyway, like, obviously this is like long before the days where you could go into like the, the menu from the pause screen of the game, but I don't know what's going on here, but 40 seconds is not, like, that's ridiculous. That's, that's a glitch or something, seriously, like, that's like, 
to be able to complete the level in this time, like, no matter how good you are. What is going on with this game right now? As I have absolutely no explanation to give, I know I should be explaining what this game is all about, seeing as I played it as a child growing up, but I can't explain right now why the timer is so low. If I run out of time again, I'm just going to have to start fresh go to the settings, because this is ridiculous. I'm really distracted now by that. So the, uh, the name of the genre of Streets of Rage is uh, side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up, yeah, side-scrolling beat-em-up. A lot of games back in the 90s were side-scrollers, even if they were like platformers, action adventures, action adventure games, most, most of them were uh, side-scrollers. See, I'm looking at the time there now and it's all like, this is ridiculous. And I've played this before, so this has never happened before. Like, no, I've actually played this version. I've played it on the Sega Mega Classic Collection. This is the first time this has happened. I don't know. Okay, so it's back to front, you know. Okay, maybe I'll just, I'll just keep going ahead. Probably just, oh shit, I probably just took too much time in one area like this. Make sure time in each. Right, I'm gonna take the apple shredder like this. Oh, look at that for skill, lad. Uh, Stay in this game for years as a kid. Well, oh. oh, this guy is tricky. Believe me. But he's no match for me. Shit, I didn't mean to pick that up. This is a, this is the knife that I was talking about earlier. So after a while, you can actually see you can throw it. I need a turkey. Okay. Yes, turkey. So turkey replenishes all of your health, as you saw. You know, there's a game I'd love to be able to show you, but unfortunately it's not part of any um, collection. And it's a game called Zombies Ate My Neighbors. And it's as fun as it sounds, to be honest with you, it really is. I love that game so much. Uh, I do have it, technically. I have it on the Wii Virtual Console, um, but I can't like live stream it, so. But I can make a video. As I promised, uh, Tony Child Games will be a series of live streams and videos. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's time to fight the boss, but nonetheless, I'm gonna pop into the kitchen in about two minutes. Okay, I think I'm gonna just kick things off straight away with a special move. Uh, back up. Cause I don't know. See, the thing is, like, every life gives you access to a special ability, so I didn't want to get waste it. Like, it would probably end up killing me. <laughs> Let's see, 
So now we can use it again. Probably get more points if we don't use your special move, but I just want to show you as much of this game as possible. And sometimes, like, you know, I, I'll tell you one thing, I can never understand this person's bosses and um, techniques to learn the switch. It's just a pretty strange technique. Okay, I'm going to pop into the kitchen there momentarily. Be right back. Thank God I paused that. So I am back. No. We're on the beach. Fighting on the beach. Oh, the music. Can't be a bit of 90s techno. Better than any of your mumble rumble, mumble ramble rap crap. That ring. Fucking better than most that rumble rap shit. Ah. Axel Stone is like literally he just, he just dressed as the 90s. If he could ever if he could ever dress as the 90s, then uh, his name is Axel Stone, isn't it? Axel Stone. <laughs> like, I may be calling him but he's not for a long name. And, uh, I'm sticking to Axel Stone. This is actually a hard game to complete. Believe me. I actually completed the Switch of Age 2 before I completed the Switch of Age 1. Come to think of it, actually, a lot of, the, a lot of my childhood video games that I played in Sega Mega Drive, believe me, a lot of my childhood video games are all Sega Mega Drive games, but uh, I've actually completed the majority of them only when I got the Wii Virtual Console. So it took me years to actually eventually complete some of these games. Probably, it probably had something to do with the fact that there was no, like, save system whatsoever on Sega Mega Drive games, whereas on the Wii Virtual Console there was an option to like save your progress, so that's probably why, I think anyway. You know, it's nice to be able to take a break from modern gaming and step back into the past and to play the games I grew up playing and to share those games with you. The turkey I'm going to save. Can't go too far because I won't be able to eat the turkey then. Just wondering, I have uh, like a filter activated. Uh, it makes the game look far better than what it would have looked like, like originally crap. Originally on the um take a mega drive, oh crap. I'm not picking that up. Oh god, maybe I will, I don't know. Damn it. them in line like you know you can't allow them to oh, yeah.
Rain, okay. So there's a lot of back in the day, believe me. Uh, it's like the lowest of the lowest of my rage. The lowest. There's actually a level, and hopefully I can show you that level in this live stream. That literally reminds me of the harbour of my, my home city. Oh, I've got a boss already. Okay, I wasn't expecting that so soon. Oh, I've got the wrestler here now. Jesus, that's close. He actually ends up being good, I think, in Switch of Age 4. I hate the fact that they threw in. What? Oh, never mind. I hate the fact that they threw in the, um, the minions when they're fighting the boss. It's so distracting. This wouldn't be my best played show now, to be honest with you. I, would, I can often get this far into the game and have like four lives, possibly even five lives. But, uh, I'm doing good though. Level 4. I like games when they had levels. And I don't know. Wait, does he not know the options up there? Oh, that's just the options of it. Never mind. I thought I might be able to. Oh, Jesus, how do I fix this now? This is actually the level I was talking about, but there's a particular path that I want to show you. <laughs> I had this game on so many systems and collections and, and services, it's crazy. Like, no shortages of Street of Rage in my house, that's for sure. I even have it in 3D. Hopefully no sooner I'll be able to show you. It's just, no, it's not really kind of, yeah. Again, like, oh god. Oh, that was fucking close. That could be not, this game is definitely, it's got the hard. Definitely set the hard. No, I didn't set the hard, I can tell that much right now.
And for anybody watching the very first episode of Johnny's Childhood Games, I was playing Sonic 2. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties. I know you didn't get to see much of Sonic 2, but I will return to Sonic 2 at some stage, so stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'm back now. Aha, you should have come, did ya? Oh, you purple. Purple smuggle. <laughs> I don't even remember there being a green version of that enemy. Nice right, boss, fat guy. That's all. One that's all. One that's all. Want that cake? Want that cake? That's all. What's your fucking cake? May cause half burn. And again, this already has half burn. Bosses are not messing around in this game, believe me. Neither am I. Jesus. What the? Okay. Look, I know you couldn't lift that so. That much I do know, I've been playing it going through the years, but I never took that much damage before now. If any of the game is definitely set to hard by default, I didn't realise that. But look, challenge is a challenge, and there. Goodbye, Tapper. Fuck off that fat limbers. Fuck. Fat limbers. Just look correctly, there's a crossover between two seconds. I don't know if anybody's aware of a game called Ninjala, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but there's a crossover between that and Monster Hunter Rise. Jesus Christ. Monster Hunter always got these crazy crossovers. Jeez. Oh, this is the level. That area through the window, right, of this board, it just reminds me so much of Cork Harbour as you're heading into Cork City. Oh my god, like, so much like it. I mean, I do, I do anyway. I know, just... Oh shit! I think he's admiring the view. 
can anyway. You know, they are oh, on the one level I need that fucking move more than ever. Right. So the bosses in this level are not messing around. Like they're practically cheating us. Like, like everyone cares that you like that. These bosses actually cheat. I'm surprised if they appeared in the Smash Brothers Ultimate. I've actually given up time to predict what fighter is going to appear in a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I can't even remember the last person that ended up in Super You're Smash Bros. Ultimate. The stream. Who is in the live stream? Colson, welcome to Johnny's Childhood Games. It's a, a series of live streams and videos where I play some classic retro video games that I would have grew up playing. So um, it's going great man, it's going better even that you're in the live stream now, how are you doing Colton? And I hope you enjoy the live stream man, and there's somewhere in here is at least an apple, there we go. My knowledge of this game does not fail me. Fun fact Colton, the background there, right, uh, out that window there, reminds me of uh, my city's harbour as you're heading into the city. All of my, oh damn it in here. Think about the streets of the rage. Doing, but when was this made? This was made in the 90s. I'm not sure of the exact year, but it was made in the 90s. Like, like 92, 93. The, uh, oh my good god. The decade that I uh, grew up in, where it all began for me in, in the area of gaming. So you're going to see a lot of uh, 90s games in this um, series. Johnny's Childhood Games. Oh, I'll be slaughtered. No, come at me, lad. Oh god. The lad. Not lucky. Got the bondage, bondage sisters. That's not what they're officially called, by the way. I just called them that. Of course, I didn't know what the fuck bondage was when I was just kid playing the game. But um, retro like, arcade no games are super fun. They really are. Especially if you're a modern gamer and you're playing these games for the first time. Uh, like if you're a younger generation gamer, it's, 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 I would imagine it would be one hell of an experience to get this different perspective, you know. Um, it, it must be a very fun experience, yeah. But for me, like someone who grew up playing these games, it's, it's, it just gets this feeling of nostalgia every time I, I could stare at this. I swear to God, that reminds me so much of, uh, of Cork City Harbour. I just, well, not the Cork, just, you know, you're looking in on the city like, and you're coming, oh, it's, I can see my house in here. Although we know we're near. Nonetheless. There's a turkey behind here. Yes, sir. Extra life. Needed that life to uh, orange juice. Colson, I got an interactive question for you. What was the first video game you ever played? So, what would be your childhood game? Oh, 
Jesus. Again. Dead that turkey. I like how he just makes an appearance on this. I am back. I am back. Oh shit, my back is broke. Thank you, Batista. Breaking my back. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is, in many minds, the best fighter. And I've spoken many times, I, I, I love Super Smash Brothers, by the way. Even when I get my ass handed to me. <laughs> I love that series, I do. But I always think it's a different kind of, like, fighter, like a beat em up fighter, like Mortal Kombat, or Street of Rage, or Tekken. But like... If you still think that the Smash Brothers is technically a fighter, then technically, this game here is a fighter. Because you're, you're fighting, you're punching, you're kicking, you've got special moves. So. I've just lost my life. Continue left. Oh, yeah, Johnny Boy El Boca. Is it? Is it? It is. Mr. Middleton, Chad, welcome back to another episode of Johnny's Childhood Games, a series of live streams and videos where I play some classic retro video games, more importantly the video games that I grew up playing as a child. How are you doing Chad, how did your day go? And I hope you enjoy the live stream, so of course I'm playing Streets of Rage, I'm taking Mega Drive, I'm at the level of the uh, in my opinion, well, well, not the hardest, but the most annoying uh, boss. What the fuck? This is our fight for second. I forgot you could actually fast forward this game. I was like, well, how could the fuck can you fast forward? Mind blown. Okay, it doesn't really do anything. I was like, how the fuck can you fast forward again? These fights. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. I still think the hardest boss I've ever faced, what oh shit time is coming down, hardest boss I've ever faced would either be the last boss in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, or else the last boss in, uh, in I Am Setsuna. One of the two, I don't think it was a because for whatever reason, Chad, I don't know why, but the time settings have just been, like, dramatically um, decreased. I have no explanation for that chat. I'd love to have an explanation for that, but I don't. If I move quickly, I might be able to. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's no way in hell I'm defeating these bitches in five seconds, that's for sure. Anyway. Oh god, it ain't happening. It'd be a miracle. That would go down in, in history. Like on my YouTube channel. That would be the greatest accomplishment of my life if I defeated these fuckers in five seconds. Well, switch of age, five seconds, anyway, I should point out. Obviously, longer than regular five seconds. Like there's literally no, like there's literally no like sense, logic to these like, oh, never mind. Gonna time over, like this is complete nonsense. Now. I'm doing fine. I'm dealing with tooth sore. Oh really? That can be really annoying. Really painful. That gets better soon for you now. That's one of the most annoying kind of pains to have really. Almost as annoying as the pain is fighting this bitch, yeah. <laughs> look, at, look at it, like, it's just, it has no logic to it, no sense to it. That's the weirdest boss battle ever, like. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Bye-bye. The salt water in been helping. Just, yeah, all salt water is great for any kind of um for any kind of like uh wounds in not wounds like but anything to do with like cuts or any pain in the mouth. Definitely uh salt water. Yeah man, keep taking the salt water and if it'll help. This music here is so like We would though. I didn't say what I would get you in that the mood for. That was the boss like, I was stuck on. Oh, I think we're all stuck on that, man, seriously. Jesus. Just be, I'm just being slaughtered, like, I'm even realizing it. Getting a sequel, could fits. Oh, I thought you said Khan first. Khan. There's, there's too many of those movies, in my opinion. I, like, I've seen the original King. Not the, well, I've seen King Khan. But, uh, you know, just, there's too many of those movies, to be honest with you. Know? Like Marvel, no, like in DC, like, you know, like, How many times can you put it on the screen, like? These enemies. Oh, the mine have like scooter, you know the fucking singer, DJ, techno guy. Shit. Any break in video game news for me? Oh, I I heard last night that um. The Resident Evil Reverse got delayed. Maybe they heard my comments on it when I said that I, I feel like they should, like... What did I originally say? Didn't I say something like that they should actually get... Wait! I don't have to rewind all my life stream. I think I may have said something along the lines of maybe they should actually delay it or scrap it and do... I don't know what I said, but I definitely said anyway that they should... That I feel the Resident Evil Rebirth should be the online component of the series. I should. Logan Paul v Floyd Mayweather, June the sixth, El Boca. Wow. Got a map out of my calendar. <sighs> Along with the day where no fucks were given. But um. Shit. Just back to the no chat. No, I'm gonna joke. But um. 
Yeah, I actually kind of like the fact that it's delayed. You know, obviously it's a little upsetting. Like, you'd like to be able to play it. But I like the fact that, like, maybe they're taking it a lot more serious than they originally wanted to. Wanted to. Like, maybe they will make Resident Evil Reverse the online component of Resident Evil. Maybe it won't be free anymore. I'd like it if it wasn't free anymore. It got delayed. Yeah, it got delayed. I'd like the fact that, um, I would like if it was a paid, full-on game. If you think of it like Resident Evil Village, right? Full-on game. Full-on game. For like, what? Is it like this? 60, 70 or like normally price game? You're getting a full-on game and you're getting, um, the mercenaries as well, right? So like, I, I, I actually would have no problem if Capcom charged full price for Rebirth. If only, it, only if it became a full-on experience, like if it was the online component of the Resident Evil game. Like, what I mean by that is, if you look at GTA Online... Hello everyone, hope everyone is well. Who is that? Who is everyone? It is Dad. Welcome to uh, a new series on my YouTube channel, Dad. It's called Johnny's Childhood Games. Oh, you were in the other stream when I spent something too, when it, when it kind of, when it broke. But, um, welcome. And I hope you're keeping well. So if, if you look at what GTA Online is, the GTA series, that's what I want Resident Evil Rebirth to be for the Resident Evil series. Just a kind of an experience, like, you know, just taking all of the characters from Resident Evil, uh, heroes, villains, Hello, maps, uh, and just putting them all into an online experience. I think that would be um, a turkey, perfectly placed turkey. I don't think there's ever a turkey that was not perfectly placed. Yes, squash the fucker. I'll be taking your bat. He's not going to fall back to his bat, but it's no no no. Yeah, I think Resident Evil Reverse might have started off as just a little fan, not fan, a little fun project to celebrate 25 years of Resident Evil. And then there's going to be nothing more than a, like an online kind of bonus mode to Village. But I think they might have listened to people like mine, like comments like mine and others, and maybe they decided to make it like a full on experience, a full price experience with expansion passes, DLC, and all of that. I would. I know, that, I know there's a lot of people that were like, but why, but why? And they're the same people who want Resident Evil Outbreak to come back. So like, you know, make your mind up like, you know. I don't think Capcom should go back, you know, and, and bring back Outbreak. I think they should just go forward and just like, have an online component to the series. And it, they, they can make it very balanced, because Resident Evil Village is obviously the main line series and it's not gonna go anywhere anything soon. I mean, Resident Evil, Nine is already in development, so it's not like they're gonna go anywhere like anytime soon. Um, you know, got movies, you got Netflix series, everything is so balanced. Even even that alone, like even the media of Resident Evil, right, is uh, balanced so much because, like, I would say, like for die-hard fans of the series, you know, I'm just I am a die-hard fan of the series, but I take anything, like I, I take anything the series can give me, to be honest with you. But um, I think for Die Hard, Resident Evil fans, you know the ones you see online, for them, Infinite Darkness is the, the media for them, that's the movie for them, or series for them, right? Then for somebody who is just looking in on the outside at Resident Evil, like look, looking in from the outside, I would say that the, uh, the as you call it, Charlie, the Wesker Children series is for them. And I'd say kind of a combination of both really would be the, the Resident Evil reboot. You know, so there's this right now in, for Resident Evil, there's something for everyone. And I think you can apply that to the video games as well. I think like the online component can be kind of used by 
combination of you know Queen newcomers to this here. Golden wheels for sale, El Boca. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I was like three hundred thousand or something. Why would you even? Why? Like I don't understand people's like mentality. Like when I go, well, like you, you know what though? You would like I don't know. I'd say like the only reason that somebody would buy that is to show other people. But if you're not going to show the people and you're just going to have this golden version of a console that's completely out of date, you know, what, what, what would you use for it? What would you... I just don't understand the concept of um, materialistic wealth. If that, if that makes sense, I don't know what I mean by that. It's just these, oh look I bought a watch that's 3,000 euro. Nice. That was my reaction. I just don't, like, why would you, like, I don't know. Is it, it's, it, it's going to do exactly what a regular week does. It just costs you 200 fucking thousand. Donkey Kong, I do. I do. Although, we had the bootleg version of it. <laughs> I think anyway, we had the, uh, like the Commodore 64. It was the bootleg version of the Commodore 60 version. I'm confused. But yeah. I did eventually play the original Donkey Kong when it was released on the Wii Virtual Console. Yeah, I just don't understand the concept of only paying 300,000 for a fucking golden Wii. Like, it's not going to do anything differently. It's just going to be a Wii that's gold. And you can go around and say, I'm paying 300,000 for that. Like, okay. Donkey Kong is cool. Like, I don't quite know how oh, it is 100%. I don't know how to respond to like people who like mention these things to me, like you know. I said I just have enough time to complete this level. Oh, it looks a bit. I actually forget what this boss actually is. I don't think it actually is a boss actually. Oh, it's two, uh, I call them Freddy Krueger. Because they really look like Freddy Krueger, trust me, you see now. Oh, I forgot to ask, and, well, see, the very first episode of uh, Johnny's uh, childhood game didn't go very well. So I didn't get to ask the question that I wanted to ask. So the question I want to ask right now is, is it still what? My internet oh, cut out during my exam. Holy shit. No way. Oh fuck man, How, did you get it sorted man? Oh what an absolute nightmare Damien. That's, oh Jesus man, that is the thing about fucking online classes and it's technology. Now, yeah. Oh thank god man, I did. Fucking hell man, I, I, was, I was getting a mini I heart attack there. Yeah, man, I yes, could imagine. Donkey Kong is still around. I could imagine how you must have felt, man, because even reading that message there was giving me a fucking was giving Hi, me Damien. a mini heart attack. Oh dear oh God, Damien, welcome to another episode of Johnny's Childhood Games, a series of live streams and videos where I play some classic retro video games, particularly games I grew up playing as a child. And in this live stream, I'm playing Street of Rage. So, uh. Delighted that we got everything started with your exam. How did it go, man? How did you go? Or how did you I go? Fist time. How did it go? Uh, Jesus, man, I'm glad that you got that sorted. Because that would have just been an absolute nightmare. Jesus Christ. I think it's an example of like how easily, like, you know, like technology can go wrong in, in, in these kind of situations. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, man. You're doing so well, man. You're doing so well, man. too bad. You know, considering like, you know, you're going through like, you know, tough times and all that, like, um, you are rocking and rolling, man. Fair play at you, man. Look at Freddy Krueger. I call them Freddy Krueger. They really look like Freddy Krueger, like. I've got one more special move. Hi, Damien. Good job, Damien. Yeah, man, good job. You are annihilating that uh, 
that core click on it. Thanks, chat. Level complete, round six. So lads, that's going to do it for uh, this episode of Johnny's Childhood Games. Um, I was going to ask what game you like, if you can answer quickly. Uh, so what retro video game would you like to see me play next? I was going to give a, throw a few options out there. Uh, you might not even know what these games are now, but Comic Zone, Shinobi, or Golden Axe? Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis. Don't even have that game. Uh, so your options are Comic Zone, Golden Axe, and uh, The Revenge of Shinobi. And I am aware that you, you know, those games might not be familiar, but those are your options before my chicken burn and my potatoes evaporate. <laughs> it's okay if you don't even know what those games are. Revenge I'll still of Shinobi. Revenge of Shinobi. There it is, cemented in stone. That would be the next video game that I would play in Johnny's childhood video games. So that is the end of the live stream. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, once again, Damien, well done on fucking... Good kicking things. another exams ass and fucking I'm so glad man that uh, everything was sorted there with the uh, Wi-Fi because that would have been just a complete nightmare of epic proportion so uh, I will catch you all next time Thanks, in man. the next live stream no problem at all man no problem at all man like it's I just swear to god like I, like I actually can't say enough like how well you're doing like you know because like like because I'm on the outside you know looking I'm I'm looking in on the outside. Do you know what I mean? And it, it's it's kind of it's important too to get that kind of like perspective too, like you know, to kind of get that feedback. Like, and honestly, man, like you have been getting amazing results, like so far, and, and now more than ever before. So yeah, man, you're doing well, man, and keep it up, man. Keep kicking that course's ass, man. Honestly. Can't think. Can't think. The chat already answered. Chat already answered the next live stream is going to be the revenge of shinobi in johnny's childhood games so um again thank you everyone who watched uh hope you enjoyed uh and i will see you next time on uh well it could be other big being a game on our johnny's childhood Enjoy. games but i will see you next time in the next live stream thank you so uh take it easy lads